Personally, I feel like there are a lot of things we still need to say or express and get out there. And so having this opportunity and, you know, we don't take it lightly. Chris, Broach, and I started getting together um, maybe six or seven months ago, pretty regularly, like weekly getting together and starting to write songs, write, work on new Braid material. We started a, a, a different band, like a separate band, but we also were like, let's write some new Braid stuff too. And um, while we were playing in the other band, we kind of just realized, like, we kind of want to just write Braid songs again. like. Let's just make that happen. Since we've been playing together again the last couple of years, we've written some songs, but we put out a four song EP, and then we did a split seven inch with two songs, and we were like, we gotta stop dragging our feet and just get a record out. One of the things that between Bob and I is that what we both realized when we started playing in a band together again, before Braid decided to do more stuff again, was that I could still just do what I, what I want to do on guitar, and he, he's like right with me. We're both dialed in, even after having not played together or, or really written together in years. One of the songs that we started working on was a song that we, we decided to call No Coast. The idea being, um, literally, you know, we're a Midwestern band and we have like our own sort of set of goals and ideals and stuff. But also, and more importantly for the record, uh, is that we didn't really want to coast on our past. You know, we didn't want to just sort of rest on the other record we did, like we didn't want to make Frame and Canvas Part 2. I think we felt like that we could, we, there were songs that were unwritten that needed to be written because we want to play together. We wanted to work with Will because he was enthusiastic. He, he really kind of came to us and wanted to be a part of the record. He said he was, he let us know he was a big fan, wanted to do the new record, wanted to really give it, you know, the, 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 the spark of energy, the power that he felt like it needed. And we really responded to that. I always loved Braid growing up and I told the manager, I was like, I don't, whatever, budget, whatever situation, I just want to do the record. If, I, if they want me to do the record, I'm fucking doing the record, whatever that, whatever it may be, yeah. And we're like, you know what? We want to write a record and someone's going to put it out. Who's going to put it out? Let's figure it out. Top Shelf, working with them has been incredible because they've really injected this sense of um, energy into our, our songwriting and our, you know, we've always been passionate about playing music, but you know, seeing a great community like uh, of bands on that label and of fans of that label really made us excited to be a part of it again. I just know that we're all like having a blast doing it and I think that goes a long way. Also the commitment from all four of us, we're all in. Um, with as crazy as all of our lives are right now with jobs and families and, and other things, we're all in. So it's easy because everybody makes it happen. One Philadelphia Phil. Oh, please, let me think about it. The most famous baseball player. Premature cross. That's it. Main vocals done. Not a big, not, well, it is a big deal. It only took me four hours. Money on my nuts. Fucking any type of salty treat. In terms of the new album, I'm not really sure we're really striving to achieve anything other than to make the best record that Braid can make right now and to make a record that we feel like we're capable of making. I'm always equally nervous and, and uh, I have this kind of, you know, um, not really anxiety, but just yeah, this pressure of, yeah, I hope everything goes well. You got it, man. You only let friends use your yeah. laptop mixer. No, I didn't know what you're saying, but I played it off like I did, because I, 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 I would be embarrassed if I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> Dude, I've said the word mosh today at least 114 times. We did three days last weekend in Philadelphia. Damon and Bob and Chris flew to Philly. Damon recorded his drums there. So they had all those tracks done, 
and uploaded, uh, and they brought them here to Chicago, and then we're finishing everything here. We're, we're a little scatterbrained, and so when we have a specific deadline or specific dates, we just work better because we know we have to get it done. I try to take pride in that uh, every record I do sounds different and because of that because it's not about me, it's not about me, it's not about my thing, it's about our thing collectively, you know. What does the band need at this point in their, in their career and how am I going to be able to accomplish that for them? In terms of us living in different places, Chris and I live here in Chicago, Todd lives in Milwaukee, Damon lives in Nashville. It's not really an obstacle because these are the limitations we've been working under for the past three years. Locust is how I feel the most. In the middle, a little invisible, the ghost. Never fit in, never give in. Uh, I think that if, if, if I have to summarize the record that we're doing now, I would say that it's, um, you know, it's going to sound like Braid. There's a lot of hard-hitting, big, slow, groovy songs, and there's a lot of, you know, OG, Braid, fast, energetic, uh, big stuff. We really want to make the record that would have been the next record, whether we made it today or whether we made it in 1999 or 2000. This Braid record is what the next Braid record should have been. It just happened, you know, 14 years later. I'm excited to add this to the, the, the list of, uh, of Braid records and hopefully it's the best one. It sounds like Braid to me, it's just more progressive and you know, we're being, you know, we're becoming better at what we do and you know, us four guys making songs together I feel is always going to sound like Braid to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying Jixer the rest of the night. Jix the... With the Jixer? If we can just Jix with the j The second and the fourth Jixers are both awesome. You see the Jix the first and the third? Team... Team Jix. Team, j team Jixer. Yeah. OG Braid. There's OG Braid and then there's, there's fucking... MG Braid. And there's, and there's, <laughs> there's new gangster Braid. Yeah, right, right. There is some... Remember when I was doing that other track where I was getting too like gangster you're yeah like, that is not you sound like you're like limp biscuit that's no, I, sound, I, that's actually, I said. and that was zero gangster it was just <laughs> limp biscuit like, don't do that because that's too limp biscuit let me let me rewind here the emo revival got it because i kind of did this i'm like i don't know what i'm doing by the way am i supposed to look here or here well well okay 